Hello guys, um, this is Elisha here and uh, uh, today I want to show you something pretty simple and uh, you know how to make the today API, API calls and search something you know, on Twitter like instead of going to twitter.com and searching stuff like that you know that's not that's not for you right or you could but if you want to be cool <laughs> you can go ahead and do this so a few days ago I did a uh, simple post on showing people how to search for uh, what people are saying about the speaker of the house John Burner and uh, you know I, the return tweets were not very nice okay they were very mean sometimes but that's not the most important part of this what we were what we are trying to do here is to uh, learn how to do that to get the results okay so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start our you know uh, our IDE not necessarily an IDE but I'm using this uh, tweet a, a Python interactive shell in fact you know you can get this when you install Python but you can also do this inside uh, inside the command line you know for example like right now I can just go like Python and I can see I've already, I have a shell now that I can do some really cool stuff with it but for this case I'm, go I'm not going to use the command line I'm using the Python idle so what we need to do is import request okay that is a library that we will need to uh, to use to make requests to s some server somewhere we in this in this case Python I mean Twitter server sorry now we need a, a link to we need a URL that we want to you know point our request to we have I have one for you and, and it is very simple it is HTTP slash slash search dot twitter dot com slash search dot JSON then it takes a parameter Q in this case we want to search something like uh, Obama right or China or something like that let's say let's say China for that case okay nothing really, nothing big deal really so we have the URL and we've started in a URL uh, variable and now we want to make a request now we can store a request in something called resolve so we say request request dot get then we pass in the URL and this is uh, this idle is pretty smart look it tells you you can pass in more than one one parameter or one argument as long as you start with the URL first because that is the most important one and this is a, a get request so we are interested in this first one so we just go ahead and do that we've made the request and the data has been returned already we just don't see it right now now as you can see here the such the, the results format is JSON right but we need to make that the results a little bit easier to use so we'll just go ahead and say we want to store this in a better place okay? better results and let's say results and we, we call a JSON method on it okay so we're calling that JSON method on it and as you can see you, there's no nothing that you can see right now but if we could print out the previous results before calling the JSON method it would be weird but now that we have called JSON on it it's pretty pretty neat and easy to use so let's see what is the length of beta results what is the length of that 11 huh so that means that you get 11 uh, 11 sets of tweets like 11 tweets really and that is pretty cool right you can now see what 11 people have said about uh, about China so let's go ahead and say um, traverse this you know we can traverse this um, this data and get specific information from the tweets so let's say better results and then inside the better results there is something called results there's a key called results now that results has <coughs> has a, a list of different tweets in there so we can go ahead and find the first one and you know you know arrays really arrays start with zero so and then we want the text we just want the text okay and then I'll go ahead and do this anyway not necessarily important we want to encode these 
by saying UTF-8. <coughs> so we try to remove an, a trailing U Unicode and that makes it so see my fortune cookie just says made in China. Ha uh, very funny, huh? Now we can also get <coughs> inside results. We can get the fourth one and say text and see what happens. Encode the new TFA. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that says. Ha huh. Opinion, China, economic empire, whatever, and some links. You know what I mean? Can read most of them, but it's not fun until you get a, you know all the tweets at once, right? Really, come on, let's go ahead and do it. You know, before we do that though, let me just go ahead and show you what exactly is inside better results, right? It's messy. I'm warning you right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at that. How long would it take you to search for the just the words, the, just the just the read the book keywords? It'll be a long time, my friend. So instead of doing that, you just want to say for post in you know in better results. Mm, better results, and then pass in the results really. Okay, and then we, we just want to get something print post and we just want the text right and, and then we will encode that mm, TFA. and then now be surprised wait for the surprise enter enter check it out huh that's impressive I can't even read some of them <laughs> I don't know Chinese my panties drop so hard they are already afraid what you know all these you know pretty neat you can read them and that's how you do it that's it you can even make this you know appear on your website and something like that so having said that the most important thing is import the request or something called url lib2 and have the url ready and pass in the, uh, the, the query parameter and the results is from request to get results you know then you can traverse the data and be specific as far as you, you want now one thing that you could do though from here is put this inside a method right put everything here inside a method and then simply you know call it on whatever you want like instead of china put in the united states or africa or kenya or whatever whatever or your name who cares, right? You can get anything you want. So, have a good day, and I hope you had fun. And hope to see you soon. Please subscribe if you liked it. Thank you.